Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create multi-level approval flow for your shipment list using Power Automate. This is my upcoming project list. And if there is a new entry in this particular list, it goes for multiple approval where stage one, stage two, and the final stage we have created. So if a stage one approved it, it goes for a next stage. And if the stage two approved it, it goes for the final stage. And if any of these uh, stages, the a request has been rejected the status will update here in this approval status so let's just talk about how we can do that i'll go in my power automate and i'm in a create section right now i'll start creating an automated flow i can choose a trigger option as uh, when a new item is created in sharepoint list and name my list is multi-level approval click on create select your site name select the list name and step one is completed the next step is look for approval connector create an approval start and wait for approval and wait for an approval so i'm gonna go with start and wait for approval and uh, approval type will be approve and reject first to respond title will be stage one assigned to i'm providing some specific email id names you can provide uh, wherever you want and yeah that's we are there and now the next step will be control where i'm putting a conditions our earlier approval ones we used to have a response option but now you can see there is no response assets there it's responses so it will be now the outcome is equal to approve then uh, 365 outlook send email the email is going to send person who has created this one subject approval stage one and in the body we can mention hi created by display name your request is in stage one in regards and that's it and once we'll see that it is approved we have to just update our status column also there so i'll go in sharepoint option here sharepoint and uh, update item list name upcoming project id will be create item id and uh, the approval stage i'm going to set after this is stage two so that means if the approval start a check if it is approved it goes uh, here in our yes section and send emails to a created person who has created the workflow who has created the item and uh, once the email had sent to him it's basically uh, update the status column to stage two so now it is in stage two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create, add one more action here. So that is again approval action. Start and wait for approval. Type of proven first respond. Stage two. Email address. I'm gonna provide the same email ID as I provided earlier. It's just for testing purpose. And nothing detail I'm putting right now. It's just as simple I'm going and okay so once it is done i'll add a action control here condition control sorry against outcome of this particular one okay now remember this outcome of the start approval to not the previous one we have created so the outcome of this one is equal to approve 
then it goes to our yes section and again create the same outlook emails send email gonna send to created by email and the subject will be stage 2 and here we can also specify that created by display name right so once that is done I'm gonna just update my SharePoint test list name upcoming project ID will be item ID project name will be your project name this is the mandatory one I have just kept that column you can just uh, remove this as a mandatory I'll issue on this and uh, the approval stage I'm gonna set is now approved and so this is the yes condition we have set if there is condition is not approved then what we're gonna do we're gonna send an email here also send email to the persons who has created this hi created by display name so that's the email we can just drop and uh, after that I'm gonna say SharePoint update item test upcoming project ID will be my ID project name we have to provide because I have just kept it mandatory so you can just remove that and these status I need to set here is rejected all right add the same action here by going to my outlook yeah that's there yeah, I need to just update my SharePoint item project name and the status we're going to set here is rejected all right then we are good to go now if you can see and my so this uh, flow is working now this the when a new item is created it's look for an approval and the outcome of approval is equal to approve then it will goes to this yes section and will send emails to the person who has created this one that's sending that's your request has been approved in stage one and then it's update the item status to stage two and uh, after that start a next level approval uh, stage two where it's going to this particular person and once that person also either approve or reject this particular one according to that it goes to our yes section and uh, send emails to created person and then update it to approved and if not then just send emails to created person and say it's rejected and uh, same goes with our this particular stage one also if it is rejected then it will go here and it will say to that person your our request has been rejected and will update the status of the column as rejected and after this you can put one more step here is terminate this particular flow and uh, the state of the age succeeded and that's all our flow has been terminated and our flow is completed and also if you want at the approval level you can add a parallel branch here saying that if you want to send a reminder email by just uh, clicking on this particular one add a parallel branch here likewise you can just send a, this notifications after a day uh, if someone is not you know replying on this approve or reject request so that's the way you can create your multi-level approval flow for your SharePoint list I hope uh, this is what you're looking for let me just save this one and I'll go and create a 
uh, project name test uh, put a project cost something like this stays one is by default there now you can see that at your approval history it is running so it's in stage one went for approval I'll go to my emails so you'll see that I got an approval email here either I can approve it I say stage two approval start that means I'm in stage one approved this one you can see that condition changed here I got an email notification also that as a creator a request in stage one and again I got a stage two request now because I have just put my name in all these approval ones so stage pending approval okay now let me just say it approved and you can see that hey your request has been approved you can now start your project if you can see that everything is done our workflow has been terminated and now in stage two right now i can see that now it's approved so that's the way you can create multi-level approval flow and even if you want to add more conditions more approval here you can just keep on adding here and put the conditions according to your requirements i hope you like this video if you do don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching